Welcome back to the Sound for More channel. Today uh, we go through uh, how to import files inside Soundbox. Before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Thank you very much. Okay, so we have Soundbox already running, standalone version inside an iPad Pro M1. So let's create a new project, although you don't necessarily need to do that, and let's select an empty one. Now let's go back to the menu again, and you'll find an export and import menu. And you have different uh, options here in the submenu to import file, export to a WAV file, to FLC, OGG, MIDI, um, et cetera, et cetera, different ones. Now you can um, do a system import if you click on it. And of course you can browse to some files. In this case, let's choose hi-hat. And what you will see is that it will load a sampler here. When you say hi-hat, that's the name of the sample that has been loaded, but the instrument or the module that has been created is the sampler which you see here. Now, you need to connect your course to the output. With that connected, uh, with this selected, of course, you can use the connector here, or you click in and hold on this first module. If you have a touch screen, and then you click on the output and it connects automatically. And now if you play on the keyboard up here, Of course, it will play that hi-hat and it will change pitch as you change the note. Now, that is a simple way to actually import a file and, um, and of course, associate it to or link it directly to a sampler. Now, if you have a lot of different files, what you might find useful, going back to the menu here, is to actually do a Wi-Fi export and import. Click on it. Now it will say HTTP and it will give you an, ad an address 192.168.0.8 port 8080 in my case. So at this point you can go to a browser. So here we go. So let's go to this browser. I already have uh, uh, selected that address. Click enter. And uh, as you can see, I'm doing it directly inside the same um, device in on the same iPad, which of course you can do that. Or if you have a MacBook or another machine, a PC, you can, of course, uh, as long as you are in the same uh, network you and you can reach the iPad uh, through that network, you can connect that IP address. And therefore, you, you are presented with this interface where you can upload files more than one and it's very simple so you choose a file in this case because i'm already working on an ipad i have these three choices i choose choose file i choose that hi-hat i choose another one again choose file a snare for example and then i choose another file again and um and so on. So you get um, you get the idea, for example, a kick, right? You get the idea what to do. You can also create a directory. So let's say that we create a directory called um, samples, and then we click on create directory, and there it is, right? And um, then we can click on it to actually navigate directly inside uh, the particular uh, directory or folder that we have created. Notice that I've lost um, the chosen files, but you can repeat that very quickly. So let's get that kick there. And then let's choose again that hi-hat and then that uh, uh, snare as well. Okay, and then you just click send and you send the files directly inside the samples directory or folder that you created, okay? And if you go back now to um, Soundbox, then you can close uh, the effectively that web server, okay? And now if I was to create a new project like so, select empty. Now double click here to select a module and let's choose sampler. And don't worry too much how the sampler work uh, works for now because I will create a full tutorial on that. I make the connection between the two, and then with the sampler selected here, you can you can select here on the left hand side on the properties load, and then you can go inside the uh, sample here, and uh, here you find um, the um, the sample that uh, you already imported. So in this case, um, we have uh, um, loaded a new sample, and let's play. So, and it is as simple as that, right? 
and that is the kick. Okay, so um, just a very quick tutorial on how to do import and um, system import and how to use Wi-Fi to do um, um, the import, which becomes very, uh, very useful for the upcoming tutorial.